procrastination has a soul system perfectionism now while procrastination is the inability to start something perfectionism is the inability to end something working on and on and on never getting it done people with perfectionism tend to get bogged down in details which is why most of their projects are always work in progress my mentor told me version 1 is better than version none and that's true i should know i'm a recovering perfectionist Today we will look at how this sister can really wreck your life and keep you stuck and what we can do about it. Hi, I'm Sheila and this is Lumia 24. Light on. working with a whole lot of perfectionists i've seen how it creates great struggle for themselves they struggle with their to do's yet they refuse to ask for help they set sky high expectations for their work so they procrastinate with their tasks they want to achieve perfection and precision in everything and this very precision creates great unhappiness for themselves i have a friend of mine who after his first day first day mind you of cinema school wept quite pathetically about what a terrible photographer he was because he didn't know how to operate the camera give yourself a break dude if you knew everything there was no point going to learn right like i tell you the way you do anything is the way you do everything in life most perfectionists also demand great perfection from others you already know how a relationship will go when the expectation from the partner is so high Most perfectionists impose this standard of perfection on their loved ones. For example, a mom expecting her child to score 100 marks in their test all the time, or a wife or a husband blaming their partner for not doing housework in a particular way. Such pressure not only hollows you out, but also drains your own relationships and pushes your loved ones away. To add to all this, most perfectionists have a poor sense of self. and blame themselves for their failures they constantly beat themselves up creating a circle of misery around themselves one of the downsides of this is depression and unnecessary stress i've seen too many people feel like failures because they see their less smarter peers fly ahead and achieving the very things that they aspire for locked in the fear of being judged fear of not doing right and many times fear of success perfectionists just don't move to quote one of my mentors sloppy success is better than perfect mediocrity and if you clapped your hands to your ears because you couldn't bear to hear such blasphemy look at where you are write to me and tell me that you're happy there okay So it's time for Sheila's toolbox and let's see what perfect tool I have in my box for you today. This is Susie Welch's famous 10 10 10 rule. You may have heard about it before. It's a powerful tool. Here's how you do it. Start by writing down everything that you do that you think needs to be perfect. For instance, do your budget reports have to be perfect? Are you the kind who irons your socks and underwear? Do you feel like that every i has to be dotted and every t crossed? Look at your work, your hobbies, your habits, your home, your food habits, your partner and even your goals. Wherever you see your perfectionism rear up. Think of the issues you remember and ask yourself these powerful transformative questions. Will this matter 10 minutes from now? Will this matter 10 months from now? Will this matter 10 years from now? What is the worst that could happen? If the worst does happen, can I survive it? There is no situation where you cannot apply this rule. from the not so perfect sunny side that you were served for breakfast to the rip roaring fight with your spouse or your young daughter or that disaster of a presentation that you made once you've done this come up with one specific way that you can challenge each behavior 
Let's say you spend a lot of time checking and rechecking your work. You could challenge this behavior by resolving to check your work only twice. Once when it is finished and then again a couple of hours later. Or you're an impeccable dresser. Go an entire day walking around with your clothes mussed up. I know this was traumatic for a client of mine. He would have wept if not for the fear of soiling his perfect handkerchief in his pocket. Look at me. I know that there is a mark here on this dress of mine. But that's okay. I'm still recovering, right? Learn to be comfortable with your discomfort. So that's all for now, folks. Watch out for more life hacks in our next videos. Do write back to me and tell me how this works out for you. And feel free to post your comments or queries in the chat box. And oh, don't wait for that perfect moment to like, share and subscribe. Do it now. Spread the light. You may just help one of your other soul friends in this perfectionist club.